technical details also like proof of stake, proof of work? Is that um, in that um, um, context, uh, what is your take on that? Um, it, it's a very fundamental question in, in, in any blockchain and in, a, in any ecosystem that you have, the question is always arises, who has a say? And, 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 and what does this say mean? In a centralized system, by merit or by whatever system you came up, there's a party that has to say. And, and, and so it's very easy. But in a decentralized system, it gets very tricky because if you can have a say for free, the person who can just create the most fake nodes that pretty much cost nothing has the biggest say in the network and thereby the network becomes centralized. So you wouldn't want that. So the question, the fundamental question is, how do you get a vote? How do you have a say? And the oldest fundamental way is you make a mathematical calculation, you prove that you do the work, you prove you burn some energy. It's easy. Energy is limited. Uh, we know this law of thermodynamics. It's not going to get fall. So it's super easy to prove that you have a say. Obviously, newer blockchains try to figure out other ways to have a say. And one of those is so-called proof of stake, where you lock up money. Ethereum, um, Michael, for example, sent me this private message here on Zoom asking me exactly that same question. So that's why I'm tagging it along here. Um, Ethereum, for example, the second largest blockchain ecosystem started with proof of work, just like Bitcoin, and is now trying to see if it can shift into a proof of stake model. No one really knows if this is going to work. For example, I'm involved in a, pro in a blockchain project called DeFi Chain. That project uses proof of stake, but it actually requires to piggyback on Bitcoin to use the security of Bitcoin. And the reason for that is very simple. Proof of stake, while super efficient and while super eco-friendly, we don't know what are the potential attack vectors here. And no one really knows. A lot of people have some assumptions and a lot of people take some educated guesses, but at the end, we don't know. And that will always be a risk factor. And so with Bitcoin, it's super, like we know fundamentally from physics that it's not possible to create energy out of nothing. So fundamentally, we know that, but it's so tricky as soon as it comes to an ecosystem that talks about money and money being power and having that plutocracy that in the real world would never work, right? But for some funny reason in the blockchain ecosystem, people are totally fine with it. Um, and and again, I'm okay. I'm, I'm involved in a in a project that that actually does that. And and so far it has worked fine. But we actually need Bitcoin as a security layer. And so there's just a lot of questions in in how Ethereum is going to do this. Um, and again, Ethereum hasn't converted to Ethereum 2.0 yet. So a lot of question marks. No one knows for sure. And and I I mean, if I would be betting on only one thing and that thing being the very safe one, I would have to go for the proof of work model. It's proven it, it hasn't had a single fault. That's, and again, it, it, it's difficult to, to make a clear answer. Sure, it would be awesome if votes could be defined by the money you have in the ecosystem, but it, a lot of questions. Oh, um, in that context, uh, how do you see, and there were also some questions about Cardano, Polkadot, Solana, um, they seem to, to manage. I mean, the, the size and the stuff that's at stake, right, is uh, incomparable to Bitcoin, right? Um, just because the, the, the blockchain runs doesn't mean anything um, because there isn't, you, they, they're not getting attacked. They're, they're, the, the economic scale of them is incomparable to Bitcoin. Um, I, I don't know what the market cap is of, of Cardano right now, but I would be surprised if Cardano is in a significant percentage in comparison to Bitcoin. Um, I, I think it's absolutely minuscule in importance in comparison to Bitcoin. So it's, it's just like anything. If you are if you're the champion, you will always be attacked. You will be attacked in the press. You will be attacked by politics. You will be attacked by the by the lawmaker. Like I have not heard a single politician go out and mention any other cryptocurrency other than Bitcoin, maybe Ethereum. I've not. So there's no attention on those blockchains. It doesn't mean that they are not relevant. I'm just saying they're not tested. We don't know. Bitcoin's been attacked and tested and scrutinized for over a decade now. I don't see any of those other blockchains. I've not heard the SEC or anyone discuss those those coins. Sure, some investor can tell me that whatever coin is not a security, but have we 
seen this at the only two coins that I know for sure that the SEC hasn't has scrutinized and has confirmed it's not a security is Bitcoin and Ethereum. And, and so that's to me where, 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 where there's just a lot of questions just because so far that nothing has happened doesn't mean that it something will happen. It just means risk reward, right? And, and at the end, that's what it comes down to. That's also where when I come from an investor perspective, the only one or two coins, if I would just want to close my eyes and say, sure, invest is Bitcoin and Ethereum for those reasons. They have right. been tested and challenged and, and, and I'm not saying they're going to make the biggest returns. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they have the lowest risk.